we're back. We're doing the art fixture levels. Okay, so it literally is the, the watcher. I imagine is is God, in that case. So that is that's super God. Huh. What the hell? Oh my God! The target in the background. That's cool. Oh crystals! I, I've been neglecting these. It has no analogs in 3D. It has two identical curved sides, neither of which is flat. The sides just look flat from different angles. See if you can find a view where the top and bottom appear flat, and another where the sides appear flat. Whoa, okay. Very interesting. And then I imagine... I'm lost. Ooh, moving platforms. This ought to be good. I cannot wait to see what these moving platforms look like in volume view. Assuming I can get on the on the dang thing. What the hell? It just looks it looks identical to just standing still. Oh, that was almost par. Oh, and climb bottle, of course. It's a 4D game. They had to have a climb bottle in there somewhere. Huh. Shoving, shoving out of the, shoving people to get out of the way to see this. The one and only Klein bottle. Oops. So as a 2D surface, bringing it into the fourth dimension means it becomes more like a ribbon than a bottle. Okay. Excuse me, coming through. I am very important. Oh, wait, I see what that second one is. That's a pinwheel moving and moving along a four dimensional axis. Uh oh. Yeah, okay. Oh no.
Woo! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so there's just no way to get past this unless you use 4D. That's really cool. Whoa. Just the way that it's constructed is completely impossible. Where is it going to land? Up. Nice. Oh, that's not a target board. That's the Earth. I didn't even put it together. Yeah, because it's it's the layers of the Earth. That's super cool. It just looks like I'm moving through nothing. Man, that's cool. Oh, wait, that's awesome. That other platform is moving through through the W axis. So it just appears to completely vanish and reappear. Whoa. The fact that this runs as well as it does is kind of incredible. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That's extremely- look at that! That's so cool. That's just a model of the- of a human head. In four dimensions. Just reset. Oh, it's this demonstration, right. If you arrange four circles in a square, you would need another circle about 60% smaller to fit in the center. Do the same thing with spheres in a cube, and the center sphere must be about 30% smaller. But in 4D, you can fit a hypersphere of the same size. In fact, a second cubic lattice can fit exactly into the gaps left by a first one, as the sculpture demonstrates. Another one that will be another um, fixture that will be weird to see in 4D. What happens when one of these bounces you into the fourth dimension? Whoa. Very cool. So if you view them from a certain angle, hang on. I can't even look at them in volumetric view, but... Yeah. Damn, topology's weird. <laughs> Where the hell am I? In 
three dimensions, rings can be linked together to make a chain, but in 4D it's not so simple. The 4D version of a torus, called a sphere torus, cannot form a chain with itself since it can be unlinked through a fourth dimension. However, a torus sphere in blue and a sphere torus in red actually link together and cannot come apart. That's a rabbit, I think. Okay, I have to know what happens. Oh. The dynamic music is very cool. Oh god. Bollocks. I, I did I reset. Um In four dimensions, there are six platonic solids, the most in any dimension. The 24 cell shown here has no analogous shape in three dimensions and is made up of 24 octahedra. Every time I hit a wall, I feel fear. Oh wait, is this is this a tutorial? Yeah, the floor tiles. Never mind. The floor tiles here are slices of the infamous twenty-four cell, a four-dimensional platonic solid with no with no analogy in three dimensions. The twenty-four cell neatly tiles all the four D space and is four colorable without neighboring colors touching. We're in a strange new world where the four color map theorem just does not apply, seemingly. Ooh. Ooh. Though, I suppose the four-color map theorem is, it's a purely 2D phenomena, so I don't know what I'm saying. Oh. I don't know where I landed, but the, the hole is here. Okay, I see. You usually think of rotations as a rounded axis, but really, rotations happen in a plane. This, di this distinction is important because in four dimensions, you can have two sets of orthogonal planes, each rotating independently, 
This is called a double rotation. The two blocks in front of you are performing one of these double rotations. Difficult to hit the shot. Yeah, because I can't... When it's coming down, I can't... There we go. When it's coming down, I can't land on it, because then it'll just fall off. This shape is called the tiger. It's made by revolving a torus or donut around a plane in 2D, forming another torus. The tiger follows the same path as the boundary of the duo cylinder, and has the same symmetries. Oh damn it! I don't know why I keep expecting that to work. Really cool. Whoa. I don't know where I am, but that painting looks cool. Okay. Oh, the mezzanine tour. Okay, so... Hang on, extras. Yeah, mezzanine tour. Okay, I see. So this just this is just an art exhibit that has everything. Mandel bulb. The mandel bulb was the most famous extension of the Mandelbrot set to three dimensions. It's a code parade game, it's gotta have fractals. True that. Oh god, I'm lost. I'm lost in the art exhibit. There you are. No? I'm lost in the fourth dimension. Let's try the challenge. How did that almost work? Ah, oh, that's disorienting.
my old enemy, the quad pipe. That is the hole. I will gladly take that. Four dimensional bumpers. Hey. Uh. Yeah, I know I know I could just do this, but it's I want to get the slick shot, man. Yeah, that that is a bad thing to hit.
I love the animation slowly moving as I do this. Great, thanks. <laughs> Blah. This is so disorienting. Little tap as I can see the putter disappearing off into the abyss. There you are. There we go. God, it's so hard to track where the different ones are going. That one looks like it's my... I can't just, I can't just go flinging. I guess I can. <laughs> Woo. Well, we made it through the art gallery. Oh, cute. And we get the, we get the mosaic ball.
Yeah, so we got three left, Inferno, Nebula, and Beyond. Yeah, so it is. It is on the board here. Alright. That's all I got for now, I think. Next time we do the lava area, that ought to be fun. Thanks so much for watching.